Do your blendstones look like this? They're built to last a lifetime, but they need your help in order to do that. Hi, my name's Morgan and welcome back. Today we are using the Blendstone Care Kit to make your blendstones come back to life. This care kit comes with a renovating cream, waterproofing spray, polishing sponge, and a buffing cloth. These products help us rejuvenate the leather and protect it from further damage. To start, make sure your boots are clean. Remove any caked on dirt or grime and leave them out to dry. Don't put them in direct sunlight or by a heater because this will further dry out your leather. Since this boot has dried out a bit, we'll hit it with a bit of this renovating cream. You don't need much, but as you can start to see, this hydrates the leather and brings back that original color. Before we move on, you can use this cloth to buff the boots and smooth out any excess cream that we don't want on there. Some people use these to apply the cream as well, and that's great. Do it how you want. They're boots after all. Next, we'll utilize this polishing pad with gentle circular motions. We'll cover the leather exterior of the boot. Now, you don't have to polish if you just use the cream, but this replenishes the natural oils of the leather and gives it that nice shine and it acts as another barrier that will further protect your boots. Lastly, to give your boots the ultimate protection from water, you can give them a misting from the waterproofing spray. After you've done this, you should let your boots dry in a dry, cool place, and then you should be good to go. One last tip is to stuff it with newspaper inside the boots. This will help them keep their shape and the paper absorbs water so the leather doesn't dry out. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and your boots last longer because of it. You can get this Blundstone Care Kit or some new Blundstone boots at Owl Sporting Goods or shop online with the links below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and we'll catch you next time.